Today's problem is related to Lorentz series and this topic is from complex power series. In today's video, we have to find the Lorentz series expansion of the function f of z is equal to z squared minus 6z minus 1 by z minus 1 into z minus 3 into z plus 2 in the region 3 less than mod z plus 2 less than 5. So clearly from the question, the function f of z is given as a z squared minus 6z minus 1 by this is z minus 1, z minus 3, z plus 2. Clearly, we can resolve into partial fractions. So, how we have to resolve into partial fractions? f of z can be written as a by z minus 1 plus b by z minus 3 plus c by this is z plus 2. And now, we, we need to Find out the values of a, b and c. So we have to write this equation that is z square minus 6z minus 1 by this is z minus 1, z minus 3, this is z plus 2 is equal to c. This is a by z minus 1 plus b by z minus 3 plus c by this is z plus 2. And now we have to find out the values of a, b and c that is z square minus 6z minus 1 by this is z minus 1, this is z minus 3, this is z plus 2. So if I take the LCM as z minus 1, this is z minus 3, this is z plus 2. Clearly it will be a times of so z minus 3 into this is z plus 2 plus b times of this is z minus 1 into this is z plus 2 plus c times of this is z minus 1 into this value is z minus 3 and now I can cancel the denominator on both sides and now what happens here this will be z square minus 6z minus 1 is equal to a times of this is z minus 3 into z plus 2 plus b times of this is z minus 1 into z plus 2 plus c times of this is z minus 1 this is z minus 3. Now if we keep z is equal to 3 put z is equal to 3 then we will see what happens put z is equal to 3. So if I keep z is equal to 0 3 this will be 0 and this will be 0 what remains here so 3 square 9 6 3 0 18 and this is minus 1 is equal to so this a value is 0 so if I keep 3 here this is b times of this is 3 minus 1 and next one this is 3 plus 2 plus the value here is 0 and clearly this is minus 10 is equal to b times of this is 2 into 5 2 5 is a 10 so this will be 10 b and b value I got as minus 1 clear so, I got the value of b as minus 1. And next in the same equation, put z is equal to minus 2. Here it is plus 2, I am writing minus 2. And see what happens here. And this will be minus 2 square, this is plus 4. If I keep minus 2, this will be plus 12, this is minus 1 is equal to. If I keep minus 2 here, this will be 0. So, if I keep minus 2, this will be 0 plus a c times of here. This is minus 2 minus 1 into this is minus 2 minus 3. Minus 2 minus 3. And here the value here is 16 minus 1. This is 15 is equal to c times of minus 3. This is minus 5. So, 15 is equal to c into 3 5 is so 15. So, if I cancel this one, c value is equal to 1. So, again I got the value of c as plus 1 and now which value I have to substitute? Here is minus 1. Now, if I keep plus 1 here, so put z is equal to plus 1 and see what happens here. So, this is plus 1. So, this in z square if I keep 1 here, this will be 1 minus 6 minus 1 is equal to if I keep 1 here, this will be a times of 1 minus 3 
1 plus 2 clear in this equation in, in place of z if I keep 1 1 minus 3 1 plus 2 1 minus 1 0 here 1 minus 1 0 so the next two, two things are 0 and here this is minus 6 a times of this is minus 2 3 this is minus 6 is equal to minus 6 into a and a value is equal to plus 1 so we got all the three values a b and c a value is 1 b value is minus 1 and c value is plus 1. Now I am going to substitute here. So here f of z value here is. So a value is. See I am showing a value is plus 1. b value is minus 1. c value is 1. So a value is plus 1. b value is minus 1. c value here is 1. Plus 1. b value minus 1. a value is 1 a 1 b minus 1 c 1 now our f of z function value will be f of z value is 1 by this is z minus 1 so this value is z minus 1 b value here is 1 minus z minus 3 plus a c value is 1 by this is z plus 2 and now what is the region given so the region given is 3 less than see here what is the region so, 3 less than z plus 2 less than 5. So, I need z plus 2 here. So, wherever I find z, I am writing z plus 2 and balancing the next one. So, I am writing z plus 2. So, this is minus 2 in order to balance. Already this is minus 1. So, z plus 2 minus 2 minus 3. Already in place of z, we have z plus 2. Leave it as it is. And see, f of z is equal to. So, this will be z plus 2 minus 3 minus this value is a z plus 2 minus 5 plus this value is z plus 2 and we have the region here clearly as see what is the region 3 less than mod z plus 2 less than 5 see this is the region so now for our convenience I am keeping z plus 2 as so I am keeping z plus 2 as w and see, straightly we can keep in order to reduce the equation, see here. So, in place of z plus 2, I am writing for my convenience as w by 3, w minus 3. So, this is w minus 5. In place of z plus 2, I am writing w. In place of z plus 2, I am writing w. And what is this condition now becomes? So, this will be 3 less than z plus 2 in place of z plus 2 as w less than 5 and now see and now what is this 3 less than w less than 5 so this will be nothing but see this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 clear so with radius 3 and center 0 so this is a w 3 less than w and next one with radius 5 with radius 5 and center 0 so this is w minus 5 and what is the region here the region here is in between the two concentric circles so the concentric circles means having same center here the center is 0 and radii are 3 comma 5 so this is the region so in this region the point here is 3 this is 5 and in between we have w clear in between we have w so now lorentz series generally deals with the concentric circles so here f of z is analytic within the circle on the circle c1 and c2 this is a circle c1 circle c1 is a circle with radius 3 and this is the circle with radius 5 and within these two ring shaped circle so f of z is analytic everywhere therefore if you observe these three so the uh, this is circle c1 this is w and this is c2 so w is the point within the concentric circle now we have this equation and now we have to expand here is a shortcut for you so this is w this is 3 the value here is 3 and this is value 5 so if you observe when you compare w and 3 so this is w and 3 which is bigger w is bigger so now we have to take that one common from this 
so among w on 3 among w of 3 w is bigger now i am taking w common that is 1 minus 3 by w minus among w on 5 so which one is bigger 5 so i am taking minus 5 by 1 minus w by 5 and already this is 1 by w so w is within the concentric circle leave it as it is and therefore f of z is equal to in this case i have taken w common in this case i have phi common so this is the short form that whichever it is bigger you have to take that one so let's get started with this so it's from this 1 by 1 by w this can be written as 1 by 3 by w inverse and this is minus into minus plus 1 by 5 times of 1 minus w phi w by 5 inverse plus 1 by w now you keep on expanding so f of z is equal to this is 1 by w times of so this is 1 minus x whole inverse expansion this is 1 plus x plus this one is x square plus and so on and here this value is 1 by 5 times of so this is 1 minus x whole inverse expansion this is 1 plus x plus so this value is x square plus and so on plus this is 1 1 by w see here this can be written as so f of z can be written as so if you observe this one so this is 1 by w sigma n is equal to 0 to 1 so this is 3 by w power n and this is 1 by 5 this value is nothing but sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity w by 5 power n plus the value here is 1 by w see clearly in both the cases the region of convergence here will be here this is 0 less than modulus of 3 by w less than 1 and here also w by 5 is less than 1 so this is less than 1 and this is less than 1 so from this modulus of 3 is less than modulus of 3 is less than w and here w is less than if i send this phi to other side so this one is this and therefore clearly we can write as so this is 0 less than 3 less than omega therefore from this what we can write so we can write as 3 less than so 3 less than w less than so if you connect this one so 3 less than w less than 5 so what is w here w is nothing but z plus 2 see clear so this is the region of convergence and according to this the function so f of z is equal to see here so f of z value is equal to what is z z is nothing but z is nothing but w is nothing but z plus 2 into sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity 3 by this is z plus 2 power n plus 1 by 5 times of sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity in place of z i am writing in place of for w i am writing z plus 2 by 5 power n plus 1 by this is z plus 2 so this is Lorentz series expansion and see here So the function becomes see first of all what is given so the function is given as this one so after resolving into partial fractions i got the value of a as 1 b as minus 1 as c and plus 1 so now after substituting a b c values in this function a as 1 b as minus 1 and c as plus 1 and we need the region here so here the region is 3 less than modulus of z plus 2 less than 5 and wherever i find z i am writing z plus 2 in order to balance this is minus 2 z plus 2 this is minus 2 already it is z plus 2 so for simplification i wrote z plus 2 as uh, a w and here the region is 3 less than modulus of z plus 2 less than 5 and now after transforming into w so this will be w minus 3 w minus 5 this is w and see here this 3 less than w less than 5 so w is a circle with center 0 and radius 3 here also it is a circle with center 0 and radius 5 so Lorentz series generally deals with the concentric circles so f of z is analytic within within the two circles and on the two circles c1 and c2 and therefore this value will be so 
uh, when you compare 3 and omega so th omega is bigger one so i'm taking omega common and omega and uh, sorry omega w and 5 so 5 is bigger one so i have taken 5 common and w is within the concentric circle and therefore and therefore leave as it is and after expanding in the form 1 minus x inverse so this will be 1 plus x plus x square here also 1 plus x plus x square so we can write like this and after transforming w as z plus rho and this will be the final answer thank you so much for watching hope you guys understand how to draw the diagram and what is the concentric circle and what are uh, the, the concentric circle c1 and c2 and where the region lies and this is the region of convergence thank you so much for staying till the end